Today's question comes from Federicoca95. They ask, Have any of you guys actually eaten fugu? Well, Federicoca95, the answer to that question is yes, 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 mm, yes, and yes. Now, fugu, aka blowfish, has been immortalized in American media by that episode of The Simpsons where Homer eats some and thinks he's going to die. You see, fugu contains tetrodotoxin in its livers, ovaries, and eyeballs. If a chef doesn't prepare your fugu correctly, you're gonna get that tetrodotoxin in your food. If you get too much of it, it can cause paralysis, which in turn will suffocate you to death, all the way until you die. Now, the flesh itself isn't actually that dangerous. Some kind of shady places might serve you the liver if you insist over and over and over and over again, and I wouldn't recommend doing that, but just the regular fugu flesh prepared by a certified chef should be pretty darn safe. You don't have much to worry about. Despite this, I think a lot of people enjoy fugu for its dangerous quality. Personally, I've had quite a bit of fugu sashimi, and I've had a bit of deep fried fugu as well. Both were good, but not good enough to warrant the elevated price that fugu holds. To my untrained palate, it basically tasted like any other white fish. Not all that dissimilar to the very cheap and not poisonous Thai fish. So if you haven't eaten fugu because you're worried about dying from tetrodotoxin poisoning, don't be. That being said, don't order a fugu liver. You will probably die. If you do end up dying, please don't send us emails from beyond the grave. We get enough already. Spooky email. <laughs> Thank you, Federicoca95, for your Tetra de Awesome question. I hope that answers all of your questions and more about fugu. Oh, it does. I'm gonna go eat some right now. I hope you have a good time. Bye. Do you have questions for Tofugu? Ask them in the comments or post them on Twitter with the hashtag AskTofugu.